Check it out. What's up and welcome back everyone. Thanks for joining me on this problem. Here in this scenario, we have Rhonda's training workout consisting of 10 minutes of boxing, 30 minutes of wrestling, and 20 minutes of jujitsu. And given this information, we want to find out what was the ratio of the number of minutes she spent wrestling to the total number of minutes of her entire workout. So the key word here is ratio. Now when we think of ratio, we often think of a fraction. So let's start there. When we think of a fraction, we think of a numerator being the part and the denominator being the whole. And in this case, we'll think of it as a proper fraction where the numerator is smaller than or equal to the denominator. So remember now that we are trying to find a ratio between the number of minutes that she spent wrestling compared to her entire workout. And we know that a ratio is just a different way of expressing a fraction. So when we think of this in terms of the part and the whole, we have to figure out which one is which in terms of the information that we're looking for. Now we can think of the whole as her whole entire workout. So how much time did she spend working out? She spent 10 minutes boxing, 30 minutes wrestling, and 20 minutes practicing jujitsu. So if we add those three values together, that sum will be our whole. And when we add 10 plus 30 plus 20, our result is 60. So her whole workout lasted 60 minutes. And again, we want to find the ratio of how many minutes that she spent wrestling compared to her entire workout. And we know that she spent 30 minutes training wrestling. So now we have our ratio of 30 to 60. And again, we can think of this as a fraction. And when we look at it this way, it's pretty easy to identify that 30 over 60 can be simplified to 1 over 2, 1 half, because 30 is 1 half of 60. And that should make sense because 60 minutes represents 1 hour, and we call a period of 30 minutes 1 half hour. So we can conclude that our ratio is 1 to 2. Or in this case, for every two minutes that she spent working out, one of those minutes consisted of practicing wrestling. And that's it for that one. Rhonda sounds like a pretty tough chick, so I would not mess with her. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs> cool. All right, so that's it for that lesson. Hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please click that link below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We add new lessons every week. We don't want you to miss out. And also, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment down in the comment section below. We respond to every single comment. I promise you will respond, even the mean ones. Okay, but let's just try to keep it nice. Those ones are always a lot more fun to read. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. See ya.